guys, it's me Tiana and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Tiana. It's super nice to meet you. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Please subscribe down below if you aren't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it or if you think you're going to enjoy it. Today's video I'm actually filming for a second time because I realized in the last one I made a few mistakes. I do want to start off by saying this video is in no way to brag or to make anybody else feel bad. It is mostly for entertainment purposes and informational purposes. So I know that when I was in this position uh, starting off in YouTube, I was watching a lot of videos about how to make money off YouTube and how much money people make off YouTube and kind of what view range makes what type of money and what kind of videos so if you guys clicked on this video it's because you want to know how much money I made off my YouTube video that hit 187,000 views this is one of my most frequently asked questions is how much money that video actually made me so today I am going to be sharing with you guys how much money I did make off that video why and how much money you guys can make off your videos a lot of different things factor into making money off of YouTube it's not necessarily just views it's about content it's about the topic of the video it's about the length of the video there's so many other things that I'm going to talk with more depth about in this video so make sure you guys keep watching to get that information and closer to the end of the video I'll actually be sharing the amount okay so starting off I'm actually going to be talking about the video topic so for example certain ads pay more depending on what they're about An ad company like Bell is going to pay you more than a smaller company for example like honey so if you guys don't know what honey is it's like a coupon company that they can give you coupons and deals off of buying things from grocery stores or online websites, anything like that. Bell obviously is a bigger company known for selling phones and services like TV and phone and all that type of stuff. So they're a bigger company than Honey would be. So they are going to pay more because they have more money to pay based on your type of video. So for me, my 187,000 viewed video is what's on my iPhone. So that video is a good video that Bell could put their ads on because if you're watching a video about iPhones, I know a lot of the comments underneath that video were people saying that they're going to go out and buy an iPhone XR and they want to buy an iPhone XR and they're looking to buy a phone. So Bell putting their ad on that video, they have a potential customer because if you're clicking on that video, you're in the mindset of a cell phone. So before the video, if you see a cell phone ad, with a good deal that may persuade you to go with Bell so that's why their ads they can put on a specific target video they're targeting an audience so in that case it is an audience that could potentially buy a cell phone or a cell phone plan or anything kind of technology related if I did a video that was a day in the life with me there's no really specific kind of customer going to watch that video so Bell wouldn't necessarily put an ad on that video because there's no directed content for that. So everybody clicking on that isn't thinking I wanna buy a cell phone, they're just wanting to watch the video. So any like company, even smaller companies could put their ad on my video and my CPM wouldn't be as big. If you guys don't know what a CPM is, it's kind of like um, amount per thousand views. So I will be sharing with you guys my CPM for my 187,000 video. CPM is usually anywhere between a dollar to seven dollars. It depends, like I said, on the company that is putting their ad on your video. So how big they are, how much they can afford. It also factors in how big your channel is. So somebody like Jake Paul, for example, they have a really big fan base. Um, a lot of people and a lot of views always coming in on their videos. So their CPM wouldn't be anywhere near a dollar. It would likely be around like six, seven, even eight dollars because they have a bigger audience and they're getting to a thousand views way quicker another thing is if your video is over 10 minutes long you can actually do ad breaks which that helps you accumulate more money as well so if your video is longer than 10 minutes you can have an ad at the beginning and at the end but also in the middle because there's enough time length that it can actually cut the video in half or even longer than halves and it can put ads in between the video so you can make more money that way shorter videos that are like two three four minutes you only get one ad on them, so that won't make you a lot of money, even if you do get a lot of views on it. If a video gets 187,000 views with one ad versus one with two ads, you will make almost double the money if somebody watches the video that long. Also, I do recommend don't stretch on a video if it's unneeded. If you wanna make a video 10 minutes long so that you can add more ads in your video, if you know it's not going to be interesting, don't make the video 10 minutes long because that's going to be 
unnecessary amount of time that you're talking and people are going to get bored and not even going to watch it to the second ad anyways so just make sure you have all the important stuff and if the video happens to be longer than 10 minutes that's great but don't make it be 10 minutes for no reason when I actually uploaded this video, I wasn't monetized yet, so I wasn't actually able to make money off YouTube when this video was first published. So by the time I was able to put ads on this specific video, the video already had 60,000 views. So that means I missed out on the first 60,000 views that this video got. I didn't make any money off that. And I remember a lot of people were saying like, oh my god, your video has 60,000 views, like that's so cool how much money you're making off it. And I was like, I'm not making any money off it. Even if you look in the comment section, a few people were asking me like, oh, how much money are you making off like YouTube and how much money do you make a month? And my answer was nothing because even though I had one video with a lot of views, I hadn't actually reached my amount of watch hours yet. I had just hit a thousand subscribers and I only had around maybe 1,500 hours of watch time, but that video got so many views, it quickly helped me accumulate the amount of watch hours that I needed. So then I was able to start getting paid at around 70,000 views. So that means I missed out on almost half of the views that I could have got paid for. Okay, so out of my total of 186.3 thousand views, I actually got paid for only 91 thousand of the views. So that means I didn't even get paid for the total amount of views on my video. Like my playback based CPM is $6.42, meaning I made almost $7 every thousand views that I got. The moment you guys have been waiting for, the total amount of money I made on this video so far is $321.88. I do want to say that some of you guys may not have been informed on sort of the amount of money. I know some people were thinking that I've made thousands of dollars on this video because you're not completely informed on how the YouTube algorithm when it comes to payments works, but YouTube usually you get paid around a dollar to seven dollars per thousand views so a lot of people seeing me as a smaller youtuber would assume that i made a dollar per thousand views which would mean i made around 187 dollars which isn't correct i actually made a lot more than that which i'm super grateful for super cool because i did have a pretty high cpm which i actually wasn't even aware of until recently when i started deeper diving into this topic and decided that I wanted to do this video. This video was watched for a total of 6,700 hours. So I think when I uploaded this video, like I said, I was around 1,500 hours. So as this video started blowing up and people were watching it, obviously some people were watching the full length, some people were watching half, less than half, but I was still able to accumulate like almost 7,000 hours of watch time. So I really got my watch time up there. That's why this video, since it happened so quickly, it was actually on like YouTube's recommended page. Like a lot of people were seeing the thumbnail and I think it was actually viewed by a million people like the thumbnail was, but it was only clicked on by just under 2,000, 200,000 people, sorry. I think it's really cool to you know see what type of videos you never know what's going to blow up which is why you should always put like the best effort that you can into your videos because you never know when it's going to blow up uh, one thing to get people to click on your videos obviously you want to have a nice eye-catching thumbnail but do not make it clickbait you don't want to say like oh my god he died and then really like it has nothing to do with that just to get people to click on your video because you get them to click on your video, as soon as they find out that the title and thumbnail was clickbait, they're gonna click off. So even if the video is 10 minutes long, you're not getting your next ad viewed, which still isn't making you any money. And I also recommend do not watch this video and see that I made over $300 and decide to start a YouTube channel or make the same video as me just for the purpose of making money. I, when I started YouTube, didn't even know that you can make money off it. So I think it's so cool that I am able to do so, but I definitely don't recommend starting YouTube just for the money purpose because it has to be something you're passionate about. YouTube is a lot of work and I give really big props to all the other people who do YouTube as their full-time job and who are more dedicated than I am. There's so many people who put so much work into YouTube so money is not the only thing. If you guys want to see how much money I made off my first YouTube paycheck and kind of how I got there and you want some more insiders about like all the steps on actually how to get monetized not just how to make a lot of money. Um, you guys can go check out my first YouTube paycheck video. I'll put it in one of the, the little eye icon and in the description box as well. My three main like sort of tips are if you can have your video be 10 minutes, that's great. Make sure you remember to go into YouTube studio and add a second ad. Make sure that your videos are, well not really make sure, but if don't be disappointed if your video 
gets a lot of views but doesn't make as much money as mine or makes less or maybe it'll make more you never know like this is not I'm not saying if you get 187,000 views your video is guaranteed to make this amount of money it's going to vary because like I said it depends on if it's a day in the life with me if it's a skincare routine if it's a video that's technology related if I made a skincare routine and it got this many views there's no guarantee that it's going to get this amount of money depending on what skin brand sponsors my video like a really high name brand like um proactive could sponsor my skincare video and that could also make me a lot of money a lot of ways that other youtubers make money as well though is sponsorships i just recently did a sponsorship video it was my after school night routine and it was actually sponsored by the company teamy blends a lot of people do sponsorships and those companies actually pay the influencer to use their product in the video and mention it and talk about it i will only show and use products in my video that i like because i don't want to mislead my audience I don't want to tell you guys I like something when really I don't like it. So you just have to kind of watch out for that and think, is the influencer just saying they like this because they're getting paid or do you know that they're a genuine person and they're actually being honest with you? That's basically all that I think I have to say in this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and liked it. I know that as myself, when I was a small YouTuber, watching these type of videos really helped me. So I hope I helped you guys as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.